What's going on, guys? Today is Friday, September 27th, 2024, and we have 35 days before we launch the All Dreams platform to amateur athletes worldwide. The Dreamer Vault Spotlight today goes to Angie. If you're new to watching this documentation of building all dreams my company my startup uh you wouldn't know angie it's a video of angie way back from maybe like june of 2023 she is a, a runner she's in track and field she's from here in columbia and she will be an olympian probably in the next uh olympics is 2028 that's the goal um I've been working with Angie and following her and supporting her since, I would say, May of 2023, and she gets the Dreamer Vault spotlight for today. She's a very hard worker. Her and her father, uh, they work together, and the father trains her, and uh, man, she's, she's special. She's special. Love her story. Love her father's story. Her father works hard, works a couple jobs in order to be able to provide for her and their family and going after this dream to become an Olympian. So much love to Angie. Love what she's doing. Um, what else is going on? What else is going on? Um, so the, the counter, the, the view counter works, right? <laughs> uh, so I just noticed that the, you know, like, so I'm going, I'm, I'm getting that, that the video to show you guys the dreamer spotlight uh, of Angie and I'm going back and forth and I see, the views are actually working, right? So it went from like four views to six views as I went back and forth. So that's pretty cool. That's that's really cool. Um, man, it's really cool to see this happening. You know, just going through the journey, I think, is the most important thing. It's not the destination, okay? It's not, excuse me. It's not the destination. You know, we all want to get to this end goal. Like, you know, just say a basketball player, the end goal is to make it to the NBA. But that journey, man, is so important. That journey is just what makes you. And I love the journey. Like, I, I'm in love with the journey. I'm almost in love with the journey more than the actual destination that I would like to get to, right? It's weird. It's weird. Um... Nothing really going on today. This is a Friday, chilling, and, uh, you know, knocking off a little bit of work or whatever. Uh, maybe coming up in the next few days, we might go see uh, some coast front land. Uh, that would be cool that, you know, we might be interested in for uh, All Dreams Sports Academy. We have a lot of options. You know, we have a lot of options. Some is more expensive than others. And some is just out of our price range. Some is reasonable. So, but again, the first, you know, the first goal and the first mission is to get this platform, get this MVP so we can start getting users, so we can start getting feedback and we can start building upon that, right? Um, yeah, that's really all that's going on today. Um, if you have an amateur athlete that you are supporting, you might want to sign them up because we are going to be the premier platform for amateur athletes to capture, store, share, build their community and earn money for their sports journey throughout their career. OK, so sign up, be a beta tester, alldreamsports.com. OK, uh, you guys have a great weekend. Um, Hey, I want to talk about one thing real fast before I before I get off this thing. I have a friend and it's probably like my best, you know, I mean, one of my best, best friends or whatever. And uh, man, I, I'm so far gone from the issues in the States, you know, like I've made a conscious decision that that is not my life anymore. Right. 
And my friend, he sends me this, 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 this message, and it's about some racism that's going on in Pennsylvania. Some kid got the N-word carved in his chest. And I'm so desensitized to it. And it makes me feel bad in one sense, but it makes me feel good in another sense. Because it's like, it's just not my life anymore, you know? And the actual real goal is to get my family out of that. You know, to to get them away from that as well. And it's just so much BS that goes on in the States. And you wouldn't know, you wouldn't understand how much weight is taken off your shoulders, how much quality of life that is gained. You wouldn't know unless you go through or you experience what I've been experiencing for the last two years. You just wouldn't know. Where I'm at in my life, I almost don't care about those things anymore. Uh, and I ask, am I wrong for that? You know, am I wrong for that? Because you know what happens, you know, people say, hey, you changed or you were a sellout or, you know, but it's just not my life, you know? But I also have my own things to, you know, to to worry about as well. But as far as what's going on like that in the United States, man, it's just, it just doesn't really concern me anymore. Do I think it's fucked up? Yeah, but I also think it's fucked up a lot of things that go on here. I live here. Okay? Uh, would love to know you guys' thoughts on that, you know? Because I, I am. I'm just, I'm just, I'm gone. I'm so far gone, and I, 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 I don't plan on going back. There's a, so much trauma growing up in the ghetto. So much trauma, grow, you know, trying to have a dream in these high schools in these schools and people telling you you know what you aren't and you know you know all of these traumas that I you know that I've experienced and now I you know I see how the kids live here and I say man I just wish I lived on those type of terms you know uh without those type of traumas no telling where I would be in life at the age that I am, and not to say that I am, um, I'm not where I'm supposed to be. I am where I'm supposed to be. However, those traumas have affected my life, plain and simple, you know? So, man, would love to hear you guys' feedback on it, you know? It is what it is. So, you guys have a great weekend, and um, see you guys tomorrow.